progressive inline skates are very different than the recreational skates that you might be used to. The basic breakdown of an aggressive skate includes the shell, the sole plate, the frame, the wheels, the liner, the buckle, and the laces. Most importantly is the fit. Do the skates feel good on your feet? Liners are replaceable, so if you find a boot that you like, see if you can find a liner that fits your foot well. I always recommend that people measure their feet in centimeters. Many manufacturers list their sizing in centimeters instead of traditional US or UK sizes. When looking at a sole plate, you'll want to consider a few things. First is the size of the sole plate. The larger the sole, the more area you'll have for sole tricks. Second is the groove. The groove in the sole plate will help you balance groove tricks. The deeper the groove, the easier it will be to lock on rails, but the lower you'll have to be for royale tricks. Next, let's talk about frames. If your boots are UFS compatible, you can swap between many different frames on the market. The UFS mount includes two bolts and slots in the middle of the sole plate. This is a UFS frame. The frame mounts into the UFS slots and attaches with two frame bolts. Any UFS boot is compatible with any UFS frame. There are two main ways to set up a frame for skating. The first is the traditional flat setup. This is where all four wheels on each frame ride flat. The advantage to a flat setup is that you'll feel better when skating. The disadvantage is you'll have less room for grinds. The other setup for frames is anti-rocker or freestyle. This is when the middle wheels are replaced with small anti-rocker wheels or blocks. Only the first and the fourth wheel touch the ground. This setup is more difficult for skating, but much easier for grinds.